Hi, I wanted to make this little video to show you how to connect to free web hosting and also how to set it up in Dreamweaver. Again, there's a lot of other programs you could be using, like FileZilla is probably one of the most popular, but I'm gonna do Dreamweaver because everybody has free Adobe Suite right now and uh, most of you probably have Adobe Suite anyway. So um, we're gonna use both um, Dreamweaver, um, 00 web host. Um, I'm looking at 00 web host just because over the years um, so many of my students have used it and recommended it. So um, it seems to be the easiest, the less hassle uh, to set up, the least amount of hassle to set up. So that's where I'm gonna go. Right now, crazy, they have 80 cents a month, 79 cents a month for web hosting. It's like $10 a year. If you don't buy this, you're crazy you should get this it's going to give you a free domain so you'll have your own domain which costs like ten dollars a year anyway so even if it only lasts for a year it's totally worth what less than 12 bucks nine dollars and sixty cents something like that so i would go for it if i were you yeah 79 cents a month i'm going to sign up with the the free um web hosting myself uh for the purposes of this video and we're going to go from there. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up. Okay, so for some reason or another, it did not work with my pipeline credentials. So I used another account I have, another Gmail account, and I did log in through Gmail. So, um, yep, that's what happened. I'm going now to the panel, um, and I'm going to then um, try to get my FTP information. So now we're going to upload the site. So we're not going to install WordPress. We're not going to use their web builder. We're going to upload to the site. So hopefully this is where we find the FTP information. We're not going to use this part of it. What we want to do is we want to find the FTP information. So we're going to have to go to the account information. Okay, so from here we want to click on the tab that was um, the original tab here. And once you go there, it should look like this. So it should show you um, this, my websites. And we want to select this manage websites here. And you can see it's Media Arts SBC, the name of my site, it's running. Okay, so what we want to do is go here to manage website. And then we're going to go to website settings, go to general. And this is going to give us the information that we need here. So this is our FTP information. And this is the information that we're going to put into Dreamweaver. Okay, so we can copy and paste all this. We're going to start out with the host name. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then in Dreamweaver, we'll see here, we're going to go to define servers. And we're going to add a server and we can name it whatever we want um, the survey name is zero zero host oops I put o's zero 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 host ftp here is the ftp address my username was right here media art sbcc and then whatever password you use. You can also see if port 21 is not, oops, set up there. Sorry, didn't see that window there. Um, username, port 21 is there. You can see that right now. And then we just have to get um, our password. Okay, the last thing that we want to set here is the root directory, and that root directory is going to be public underscore HTML. And then click test. So we always want to test it. We want to test that connection. So it says I connected successfully. Click OK. Click save. Should show up there. This is a remote connection, FTP. Click save. Click OK. And then if we click on this little guy here, it says expand to show local and remote sites. It's off my screen there, but if you click on that, 
you can see it's going to show the remote server here and my local files. If we click here, we can see them both. So there's no files here, so except this HT access, and you don't want to mess with that. Um, but the first file I'm going to just go ahead and upload is my index file, and I want to just see if it gets there. So I'm going to select that file and click the up arrow. And it is there. So now we can go and test it by doing this. So back to these settings here, one of the things that we'll see here, the website settings, is the website name. So if we click on this, it should show us that page. And there it is. Ta-da! So the reason we didn't have to type in a file name is because I named that file index.html. And so index.html has special properties in that it the browser displays it as the home page. Okay, it views it as the home page, so you don't have to put a file name. Any other page, you would have to put a file name to view it. Now, this isn't everything. I don't have my images here. I don't have my um, style sheets here. So I need to upload those files as well. I just wanted to make sure that this worked. So I'm going to go back again to Dreamweaver. And then I'm going to upload the rest of the files. I could just go here and then upload the whole site if I want to. So I can select the whole site. Um, but if I don't, for example, want this license file in here, or maybe like I have the zip file for the whole template there, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to select the folders individually. Um, these three folders I already did index, so I'm going to select these folders, and then I'm going to upload them. And now the thing is, um, this is what you should be seeing here. It's uploading the files. Every time that you make a new file or that you change a file, you need to do this. Okay, so every time you change a file locally, you need to re-upload it to the server. And you can see here, these should mirror each other. Okay, so my um, desktop, my basic um, folder here that has my files on it on my local machine on my desktop is the same as my public HTML. Okay, so it should be the same, exactly the same. So images, I have scripts, I have styles, and I have um, this index.html. So let's go ahead and preview that again and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna just hit refresh, and now it should be perfect because all my other files are there. Look at that. Okay, so this is a published website. This is here, you can give anybody this address here and they can go and see this file or this this website here okay so that's it that's what you do that's how you connect to a, um, a hosting service um, to an internet service provider you also see it called and then up your upload your files to it uh, with Dreamweaver and again the big thing now is just to make sure that your file management is good and like I said every time you make a change locally you're gonna to have to upload it okay so um, that concludes this tutorial let me know immediately if you have any questions or problems with this again this is free hosting you don't have to pay for it the only thing is you do not get a domain name so I am um, up to the whims of whatever they have here so this is the name of my site media arts SBCC 000 web host app if I want my own domain I'm gonna to have to pay for that 79 cents a month hosting oh my gosh again it is so cheap take advantage of it please um, you'll be glad you did um, and if you can afford the the other one um, that was I forget how much more but it was a little bit more um, like two bucks a month and it um, had some other things as well that um, I think are worth it then I would go ahead and try to get that as well so um, but you don't have to and I did that here without uh, with it totally free this is totally free what I did um, so it's totally up to you and again um, good luck and I can't wait to see what you have this is by the way what you're gonna copy and paste and um, submit with the project or the assignment all right, have a good one.